of our five basic senses, sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch, hearing is unique in that it brings us connection. It connects us through communication, music, and our surrounding environment. Sound enriches life. Your hearing is your key to that connection, and this video is all about maintaining that connection. What? Uh, I can't hear you. Get louder. Hearing loss, as it turns out, is old news. Some of the first recorded treatments for hearing loss were in ancient Egypt, where they tried to remove a buildup of earwax using a concoction of olive oil, red ant eggs, bat wings, and goat urine. Huh? The earliest mention of a hearing aid was in 1588, when literature recommended that people use the horns of animals that were known to have excellent hearing to help create an ear horn bringing the sound into your ears. Then, in 1610, Paolo Aproino, a student of Galileo's, created the first ear trumpet. Although hearing aids have come a long way since then, hearing loss is still one of the top occupational illnesses in the United States. 30 million people across the country have hearing loss in both ears. What's more, men are twice as likely to suffer from hearing loss as women. This is due to the tendency to work in louder industrial environments and have more hazardous hobbies. One of the first steps to preventing hearing loss is understanding how the ear works and how hearing loss occurs. So let's take a quick look at how hearing works. If you will lend me your ears while watching this picture on the screen, I will tell you about these invisible waves and how our ears are able to convert them into sound. And now let's see how sound waves coming from a ringing bell act upon the ear mechanism. Here we see in slow motion how these sound waves, by beating against the drum membrane, are carried across the middle ear to the inner ear by the chain of ossicles. The liquid, when set into vibration, causes wave-like shakings of the spiral membrane. These shakings, in turn, set up the nerve action, which, when carried to the brain, results in the sensation of hearing. While we possess the great blessing of good hearing, let us always strive to protect and to preserve this most precious gift of nature. Welcome to your ear. Here we can see sound waves entering through the ear and traveling through the ear canal to the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum. The eardrum vibrates and moves the three bones of your inner ear, the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Movement of these bones amplifies the wave and transfers it to your inner ear through the cochlea. Inside the cochlea, the sound travels past thousands of hair cells called cilia. Each of these cilia are tuned to a particular frequency which causes them to move. Continuous exposure to high levels of noise, especially at the same frequency, can damage these cilia and result in hearing loss. The good news is you can protect your hearing in two major ways. The question is how loud is too loud? Well, most research shows that being exposed to noise levels at 85 decibels or above for an 8-hour day can be harmful to your hearing. You can get an idea of the noise level in a couple of different ways. There's a rule of thumb that says if you need to shout to hear somebody who you're talking to that's 6 feet away, the environment is loud enough that you probably need to wear hearing protection. Also, there are several apps that are available for smartphones now that you can download. What I've found is that most of them are pretty accurate and are a good starting point. The second way to protect your hearing is by wearing hearing protection. A typical earplug can be effective if it's used right. Remember, roll the foam to get it compressed. Lift your ear up from the top to straighten out your ear canal. 
insert the earplug, and hold it in place to give it time to expand. Once you feel it expand, go ahead and let it go and move on with your day. Ear muffs are also a nice option, just make sure you get a good seal. In some really loud environments, you may need to wear earplugs and ear muffs together to protect your hearing. Just by reducing your exposure to noise and wearing hearing protection, you can make a world of difference in how much hearing you lose over a long career. Hearing loss is highly preventable and the person who's most likely to have an impact on your hearing is you. So take steps to reduce your exposures to high noise levels both at home and at work so that you can continue to enjoy these connections for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.